And today, by popular demand, by popular demand, le bad, I'm, I'm, my brain must be saying that because it is a French pedal, le, le French pedal. By popular demand, by popular demand, the Kernum Ridge. You have seen this on Paul Davis's channel, where he tried to find out how close can it get to his favorite pedals. And Paul's a good guy. And I think it's been featured on that pedal show. Uh, my buddy Irix had it uh, on his table. And now me. Yeah? Last but not least. So here it is. Realistically, what the crap is this? Uh, it's an overdrive. And let me, let, me, let me put it this way. It's really just an overdrive, okay? There's no magic in there. It's, it's not, oh my God, this is the future of overdrives. It's just an overdrive done by people that don't cling to, it's got to be the three knob thing. It, it can only be one thing. And uh, a circuit's a circuit and we're not fiddling around with it. It's the modern interpretation of what an overdrive can and should be, fully analog, no digital anything, and all that's really happening is you have access to a bunch of different circuits. I don't know how they're doing it. I don't really give a crap. And really, I don't care whether or not these circuits can get you the Tube Screamer sound, the King of Tone sound, the Clon sound, uh, Fuzz Face, blah, blah, blah. Can they get you a King of Tone? I mean, Paul David showed it can. Any differences between this and those pedals that I mentioned are A, in your imagination, B, completely, utterly irrelevant in any live recording mixing situation. Completely irrelevant. The only difference between, let's say, this and a King of Tone is that you waited for your King of Tone for four and a half years, you really, really, really want it, you've seen it on pedal boards of other guitar players that you, uh, you know, respect, and when you have a King of Tone, there's a certain feeling in you that you now have a King of Tone and you're playing that, and that means something, and that makes you play a certain way. That's all in your brain, and that's valid. It's fully valid. Same thing being said for, I know what I'm getting from my Tube Screamer, that's pushing my amp, it's pushing it less in the low end, therefore my amp gets tighter. That's valid. Playing a clown. Oh, John Mayer plays a clown. That makes it valid for me to now want to play and sound like John Mayer. Can you get those clipping sounds? Can you get those frequency responses from a bunch of other pedals? Yes. Now, this is where the ridge comes in. You can get a lot of different clippies and different frequencies from the ridge. You can also save those analog settings digitally uh, with one preset. You can also access in the back MIDI in and out. Wow, my hand was green there. MIDI in and out. Um, and you look like the Hulk. Yeah, <laughs> um, MIDI in and out, and 
you can do 127 presets. You can also internally change it to line level so you can run synth through that or uh, wire it into your DAW. Um, you can also internally change it to massive outputs to really kill your amp if you wanted that. There's a lot of stuff and there's also... A the reason why my hand looks like I'm the Hulk is because to make this look semi-white, we had to really change the camera settings. So um, this is what my hand looks like. This is what it looks like on the Kernan Bridge. That's creepy, but it wasn't white enough. So we were trying. Uh, that sounded racist. I'm so sorry. It wasn't white enough. Let's look at it from a different angle because we have to talk about the beautiful design. I mean, they didn't go with, let's just buy an aluminum box and put that shit in it. They completely designed what a pedal should be anew. Is it necessary to look like this? No, but these are French people with a, a fable, which is a French for a word, um, for industrial design. And why not make it look sleek and cool and modern and different? Some of you might say, oh, I don't like that. But you can, you know, fuck off because this is way cool. This is a semi hard click. It goes click, but it's not a super hard click. Um, I will talk about MIDI functionality in a bit because I tested it by actually controlling any of these knobs <laughs> with continuous controllers. You could also actually use these knobs to continuous controller right into your DAW. So MIDI out into your DAW, this could actually just, it could literally control anything. I mean, this could control your kick drum level if you wanted to. You could, you, you could use it as a controller. The great thing is, None of this really cool functionality, 127 presets and expression and MIDI in out and actually being able to do things like this, which I did, I did a crazy all the way down, all the way up sawtooth waveform controlling it. Um, and I was not sawtooth, I'm sorry, a square wave. I was trying to see, can it jump from this all the way to this instantaneously? It sounded like it could. So it's pretty impressive. You could literally, with MIDI and your DAW, turn this into a tremolo. With MIDI and your DAW, of course. But all of this doesn't come at really extra cost. A good overdrive that's flexible will run you 300 bucks. This thing's 299. If we look at my board, I got a Jackson Audio Golden Boy right here. That's got kind of four settings for drive, four settings for boost. You can MIDI switch it. It has presets. Uh, well, not really. You can MIDI switch the different modes. This kind of has four different modes. Let's put it this way. So it's a, it's a similar idea. I think here it is implemented in a much simpler way by just being able to manipulate. This green is really weird. M by manipulating the mood. And here in this dotted area, it's more like a different kind of clean sound, cleany boost. And here, here, love a little, little bit of a clear, here, a little bit of a click, it goes into overdrive mode. Here, it's even more. And let's just say it gets less transparent, more saturated. Here, we're getting into distortion-y, you know, modded plexi kind of moods. And if you really want to, here, we're getting into almost fuzz territory. It's not a crazy fuzz, but that fizzle is a little bit there. So all this, by the way, can be presetable and be controlled with continuous controllers. You could really do this ramp as a remote. We're going to start here. Uh, thank you. But realistically, it's a freaking overdrive and it's a good one. And a 299, flexible, good overdrive. There is literally, as others have already pointed out, zero compromise in tone. Here is this whole thing, the Panucci Palantir 59 inspired series into the Tone King Sky King. Sounds like so. coming from the Eventide H90. We have a little bit too much gate on. I don't want all the hizzle hizzle puzzle going on in the background because we got, you know, these. And screams and other things on, so. 
Okay, that's fine. There's a gate on. It's pretty much my theme song. Pre-tone sets the tone before the drive, so you can push the drive harder in certain areas. Post-tone will shape your driven sound after it's already been generated. Same with mids, and then there's volume. Let's see what we can do with this slightly clean sound. So we took down some of the warmth, we added more sparkle. Let's see what we can do with post. Almost um, kind of cocked wah, Cock almost. how you retain the warmth but add the sparkle. Something changed. Because we stepped over the line. Whatever you want to call this thing, the sounds are fantastic. It's not going to matter to you because it's not gold and has only three knobs and all that shit. We buy so much into this bullshit mythical crap when something like this is around for a reasonable price with killer tones. <laughs> Thank you. 
character. that's digital, all that's done by just pushing the drive or molding it in different uh, uh, parts before or after the drive. Pre and post, just get it in your head. And um, now we're going to go a little bit little, little older more. <laughs> their sounds. something. Let's build two sounds here. I'm gonna go... Okay. I'm gonna save this as a preset by holding in preset. And that's it. Now, technically, if I go to whatever I set up manually, I should be able to switch with my expression pedal, or actually morph in between the two. Let's figure this out. Thank you. 
can seamlessly morph between whatever is set up on the pedal and my preset. That's pretty damn dope. Let's look at what's possible when you're controlling parameters with uh, continuous controllers, because you could do movements that you cannot do with a knob like this, or that you cannot do with an expression pedal. Let me show you. So this fun, we're gonna go into a couple of amps and then we're out of here. So we're going into, I mean, I don't even know what to start with here. Morgan, MVP 66. <laughs> Mini Plexi SV twenty H. crap does it work well into different amps. Uh, we're not done, we're gonna go into the Morgan AC20, which is Voxy. <laughs> Thank you. 
go into the Marshall JCM 800 because it is broken at the moment. We're going to go into the orange rocker verb 50. Unclean. Sounds like so. It just came back from service. Let's see if we can fatten that baby up. It was on. It's fatter. done everything make it big look at my green hand wow <laughs> sorry about that so it's an overdrive that's what it is it's an overdrive that can be controlled with midi that's what it is it can morph between two different settings with expression if all of that sounds too futuristic and weird to you don't use it see it is an overdrive you've bought overdrives that do this with three knobs and nothing else and you spend that much money it might be too creepy for you with the, with the look and all that. I get it. Um, if that's not your bag of chips, your cup of tea, uh, don't buy it. I see this as the ideal fly rig drive. Take this, a pedal board amp like the Amped One, which by the way, uh, from uh, Blackstar, which I used for the track in the beginning with this. Put this next to the Amped One, connect them both with, with MIDI, have a MIDI foot switch, load them up with five or 10 different presets each, and you literally have a wealth of sounds uh, that's going to be enough for any kind of gig. So put this on a board as your fly rig pedal. This with the Amp One from Blackstar and Eventide H90, you're good to go. You got literally anything you would want in terms of sounds. The Amp One has a clean and a drive channel and a flat channel. Those are three different settings to pump this into. Then everything this has to offer. If you're a synth guy and you want to play around with it, go ahead and do crazy stuff with all the knobs with continuous controllers and get sounds that you couldn't get with any other drive. But if we go to the bare bones of what is it? It's an overdrive. It's a damn good one. If you get to know your amp, you're not going to go into five amps. And you get to know what you have to set up here, here, and here. Even with one of these settings, you can get a shit ton. But then you add saturation and drive and crankitude. The world's your oyster, as they say. La monde est votre oyster. 
Mond? I don't, I, I don't know. Something French. <laughs> Le Kernum. No, that's the company. Le Rich from Le Kernum people. It's good. So yeah, if they said that on the pedal show, they didn't lie. If Paul David said, this is damn good, he didn't lie. Uh, if my buddy Eric said, hey, this is pretty damn good, he didn't lie. Because they, they don't. This is good. Yeah, they paid me for the video. But I can't fake the sounds. I can make my hand green, but that's about all I can do. Trickery. And, uh, green hand, come on, huh? Huh? Does it work? Wait, this, this way around. Come on. It's, al it's, almost, it's almost like a mirror. Thanks, Colonel people. Thanks, Charles. You've been awesome. You make an amazing product. And um, this is really what overdrive should be, if you ask me. Why, why buy five if you have this? But what do I know? I know nothing. Links below. Animals at the end. Please follow me on all the Instagriddles and all that stuff. It really helps. Uh, if you want to support me on Patreon, please do. That really helps too. But any follow and subscribe and that stuff that it costs you nothing really makes me stronger to get you these videos. So if you can, please go on all the different socials and do that because it doesn't cost you a thing. Thanks. Uh, animals at the end.